the stoop cooking 400 degrees Twisting the wrist and rolling my sleeve They said they want the boss, oh boy, I'm the queen Go ahead, bow down and get on the ring The notorious J-I-G J-I-G to the G-I-E Last name Smalls, I'm the shit's naive They love the outcast, so fresh, so clean I'm spicy It's your girl Indigo with another video. What is up, my viewers? If you don't know me, hi. My name is Indigo. I am a music artist, and my YouTube channel is based on vlogs, lifestyle, and of course, music. And if you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Um, today's video is something I've been prolonging for a while. Um, at first, I was gonna put all my clothing things together. So when I did like my You Matter hoodie collection, I was coming out with this video. If you haven't seen the title, I don't know why you haven't, but this is a shoe haul. And so for the past summer, I just been stocking up on like hella shoes. And you know, I'm a sneaker rather than a heel girl. And not only because of me being a diabetic, like I can't really stand heels. Um, I've been a tomboy. And if you know me personally, you know, I've been in Tomboy for the longest, like before even middle school, like before even style was a thing in my era, you know, growing up, um, my mom was prone to giving me gym shoes and stuff like that and being based with Nike and Jordan and like those type of brands. And um, I never was a girly girl. Um, when my mom tried, you know, she tried to be a girly girl, but she didn't want me really to be like her. She wanted me to be, you know, something within of what she thought would be my own style um it was like girl what are you doing like no i want to be like you like my mom was such a sneakerhead back in the day i ain't gonna lie i stole some of her shoes growing up that's probably why she lost so many shoes now but you know i'm sorry mom if you're watching this <laughs> and it kind of just it grew on me so i you know collect shoes myself and um that's just what I want to base this video on today. Ooh, oily. Sorry, guys. So that's what I'm going to base this video on today. It's just to give a rundown of some of the shoes that I have. You know, when I bought them, the retail price. And then they have, like, little stories here and there. Um, some do more than others. And some more drastic than others. And when I bought them, how they came about. So, yeah. We're just going to get started. And have at it so don't forget to like comment subscribe and don't forget to tell your friends your family even the people you follow on social media to subscribe to my channel and let's get it together you feel me let's get started all right so first things first i'm gonna just tell you all right now i have a small foot i still wear kiss shoes make <laughs> the comments to yourself because I want to hear I already know my friends do it all the time I just mm -mm. let's not state the obvious okay great so I'm just gonna give you a rundown of how I'm gonna explain each of these shoes um I'm gonna tell you the date they released you know which shoe of course the retail price and I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for them so y'all can see how much I got scammed out of because I just really hate resellers and robots and that whole system thing going on with these like shoes nowadays it takes me off but anyways it's neither here nor there let's get started with the first shoe so the first shoe is the black university girl jordan retro 12s which are these babies right here and i got them september 9th um they were released july 24th 2020 the retail price is 190 but I got them for $170, and the only reason was because Stadium Goods was having a Labor Day sale, and so I, I just happened to see them, and they didn't have them in, like, the men's sizes. They had them in a the kid's size, so I got a kid size four and a half. Damn! And the only reason that I got these is because at that time, I was planning to, you know, find a shirt, you know, to match this, and so I bought a Goddess Dope shirt that's black and yellow. And I just recently rebought my Bad Boys hoodie. I mean, not hoodie, jersey, sorry. 
my bad boy's jersey because it has smalls on the back. And he, who shall not be named, will not give me my jersey back. But then again, I gave this jacket away. Like, I sent all that to Goodwill. So, I mean, eye for an eye. It's fine. But the jersey was only like $20. So, I ended up rebuying it so I can match it with these. And then I also have a yellow shirt, a yellow Trill Billionaire shirt by my friends, um, Sid and Mac. Um, I'll actually put their website in the description box below. Um, I really want to say their Instagram names, but I don't want to say it wrong. So instead of being ignorant on my channel, um, or not ignorant in a sense, but just not knowing, um, I'm going to just put Sid and Mac's individual t uh, Instagrams. And the website to their clothing line. Y'all go check it out. Y'all go cop a hoodie, a shirt, whatever y'all can. Tap in with my boys. Love you guys. And so, yeah, that's the first one. Second is the light bulb Air Jordan 1 mids, which are these ones right here. I actually need to clean them because I accidentally got something. On the front of one shoe. I think, is this suede? It might be. But yeah. These are my babies. I love them just because they're so bright. And I don't really mess with color. But these are nice. Like between these and the Bioshocks. I like these over the Bioshocks. I don't really like brown. And brown and black together is so weird. So I got these instead. And I think it's this way. So I'm going to clean that in the morning. But um, I got those September 5th. They released on April 9th, 2020. The retail price was $125. I got them for $309. Damn! Thanks to Stadium Girls. And um, <laughs> I got them in a five on women's. And I actually ordered these the day I went to my god siblings' house. Um, my siblings, Allison and Jay. And we were just talking about shoes. Because my god brother, he's like a real big shoe head. He always, when I say he always, he always gets some nice kicks. I ain't gonna lie. I want to be like him when I grow up. Shout out to you, Dre. But um, nah, the reason I got those shoes is because when Big Sean dropped Detroit 2, he dropped the merch line. And there was actually a couple t-shirts and a hoodie I bought from him. And I think one of the shirts matched the shoes, but it's like a black shirt. So I just had to, like, it was just like, they both just popped up in the same timeline i'm like i gotta cut that fit so i got that and then there's this outcast shirt that i bought and i'm probably gonna put all these pictures up um that i got from paxton and it's like an oversized t-shirt i didn't want to buy a small one just because i hate wearing t-shirts sometimes if they not like baggy if i'm wearing them around the house um and i let me tell you right now i am a winter over a summer job i hate being hot i hate like being clothesless, like sleep, fine. Cause you know I can use vent, whatever, to make it as cold as I wanna be. But to put out fits, give me fall and winter. Don't take take spring and summer to the side. I mean, spring is okay, it's just a little weird because you know, you can get like all four seasons living in Michigan, you know, with spring, you feel me? So fall and winter, that's that's my thing. But let's move it back in. So yeah, I ordered all of that at my god sister's house, and then you know, like I said, the shirt. Um, the Outcast shirt was at Paxson. I actually recently got a crop top in the tie-dye looking version of that Outcast shirt. And I got it off of, I want to say Poshmark. Um, which is, it's a nice little website, but I was really upset because I could have had a whole tie-dye shirt for like $55. But I was just waiting and waiting. I was like, when I finally had the money like to get it, I was just like, dang, somebody took it. So I got the crop top instead. And then the last shirt that matches them shoes is... A long sleeve Space Jam shirt that I bought from Paxson as well. And so I got that. I should have got a medium, but it's a small and I mean, it's okay. You know, I always wear leggings anyway. So it's like it's kind of baggy on me, kind of not. So there's that one. Next is my human races. So now we're going to go in this big, gigantic bag of shoes. Yes, I put my shoes in this like, <laughs> this little bag. Um, only because to save some space on my shoe rack for like other shoes that like I wear on a day-to-day -day basis and then on my Crocs and stuff going here. And I mean, 
Um, it was at Bed Bath and Beyond. I think I only paid like twenty something for it. Um, it fits at least two, four, six, eight, ten. It actually fits twelve, twelve shoes in this little bag, but I only have ten here for now. And I only put like my um slim shoes and my Crocs in here, and then like my Vans and my Jordans and my Nikes they all go in the shoe rack, and then any other shoes like my heels and stuff go in the closet. So. But let's get into these bad boys because, ooh, I gotta talk about these. Lord have mercy. So, these are the human races. Um, I think this is from the plaid pack collection. Yeah, the plaid pack collection. And on the um actual website, it says uh, BBC by Pharrell Pooh Pad Pack. And I got this in a size four. I actually originally bought these in a four and a half, and they were too big. So, I have a stupid face. Yeah, but anyways. They released on May 3rd, 2019. And for retail prices, they started at $230, I believe. I could be wrong, cause, but I'm pretty sure it's $230. And so, the story about this, my the four and a half, they came. And I tried them on. They were too small. So, I was like, I was joking at first. I was like, Mom, try these on. And let me know if you like them. They fit. So I'm like, all right, she trying to match. Like, I'm not going to tell her, no, I got to take it back. Like, hey, you know, we was going to match. So I'm like, trying to match. She's like, yeah. So I ended up buying the smaller size, which is the four. And um, now me and her have matching shoes. And I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not her first expensive shoe, but that's like her expensive shoe from me. Because I ain't never bought my mom some shoes. I've never bought anybody's shoes. Because they say they walk about your life. And if I'm going to walk out my life, we ain't got scrap. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So yeah, those are the human races. Next, we have the 350 V2 Clays. These are kind of a favorite of mine. Um, I recently just got them in a bigger size. I have a five instead of a four and a half. Um, when I first purchased these, I got the four and a halves, and I realized they were too small because Yeezys actually kind of run small. So I got a half size up. Thanks to my god sister, she told me to get a half size up, so I did. So these are the clays, and I got them October fourth. They were released March thirtieth, twenty nineteen, and the retail price was two hundred and twenty dollars. Um, I got these because they're a neutral color to wear. I mean, you can wear them with anything. And I didn't want to be, you know, too flashy or bright when it came to those. Or just Yeezys, period, I guess. And I'm not really a fan of the reflector. I mean, they were cool. Like, when I first, when I bought my first Yeezys, I had the black, um, I had the black ones that, like, they reflected in different colors. Like, the red, green. I don't remember the correct name for them. But, um, yeah, so I ended up selling those, too. And I'm currently selling my smaller size um, clays right now as we speak. So, yeah, it's just a whole thing about me being comfortable with my shoe. And I know, you know, we're having a kid's foot, but also having short toes, like, sizes vary with me. So I always have to be careful of that. Um, and the next one, I guess I'll just go through all my uses down the line. The next one is the Zebras. So I recently just bought these two. Um, I actually just got them this past Sunday, um, but I ordered them a while back. And these are five as well. <laughs> and um, they were released February 25th, 2017. So that's three years ago. And that retail was $220 as well. Um, I think I'm going to use these, you know, for comfortability. Um, not really fits for real. Of course, I could come up with a fit, but I'm not really like too big on that um but the funny story about this when i realized my other two yeezys were too small um she ended up telling me getting the five and i just actually happened to look i like the different options and when you look at through shoes and i saw those and i was like sorry excuse me i was like yep you gotta copy those so my god sister um allison um she sent me in with her plug and so i'm gonna get me shoes back to back through her so allison shout out to you and shout out to your girl that be plugging you with the shoes 
Um, so for those and the zebras, the clays and the zebras, I basically paid five hundred dollars, two fifty each for those. And these are the yeast reels. The yeast reels they're not reflective, but they are a little highlight color. Um, these are the four and a half. So the only reason I'm keeping these is because I took the pattern out. I don't know if you can tell yet. I took the pattern out. Um, they match my purse. So like it was like I couldn't get these up. And I like being bright when I can. You feel me? Like I might say sometimes I hate color, but I these were an exception. And so with them being a four and a half, you know, I took the pattern out. Um and I got these along with the two small clays on August 27th. This, um, the 350 Yeast Rose, these were released December 14th, 2019. And that retail price is 220 as well. Um, I paid 315 for these. And then 250 for the other two. But 315 for these. I definitely see. Unacceptable! But whatever, you know, life goes on. My mom hates them because they're Kanye shoes, but I wear them anyway. Cause she wears Tim's, so we're even. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So the next shoe is the Indigo Twelves, Jordan Retro Twelves, and you gotta know these are my favorite, bro. Like, come on now, Indigo Twelves, like. It, it just sounded like it was meant to be, you feel me? Because my name is Indigo. 12 is my number. Like, my birthday is December 12th. I had the last golden birthday, 12, 12, 12. It was just meant to be. So, to know that these were getting called Indigos, I had to get them. Like, there was no way I wasn't going to have them out of my closet. You feel me? <laughs> like, I think if I had waited any longer than I did to buy these, or to ask around to like who had these, I probably wouldn't have had them. But luckily, one of my homeboys had a plug and he got me through. So, KJ, shout out to you. And I got these August 29th. They were released August 22nd, 2020. So, they were pretty recent. Um, I just waited a week, you feel me? But a week could be too late. Anyways. Um. So yeah, I had, um, ended up texting KJ and I was like, um, do you know anybody? Give me these. And, or either or something like that, I don't know. But we ended up coming in contact and he said he had a bro who could get them for me. And so I only, um, I only ended up paying 180. The re retail price was 140. And I wasn't bad, like a $40 upcharge, I wasn't bad. Um. Cause you know it could have been worse. I could have been paying like two hundred something, maybe three hundred something, and they have foreign kids. Like, so yeah, that definitely was uh, that was a blessing in disguise. I mean, I can pay one hundred eighty for a one forty dollars shoe and a Jordan at that. Cause you know they be doing little tickets and stuff. And I could not. But yeah, so when I ended up picking them up, um, I was at my cousin's house, and. My great aunt, they were throwing like a little party or whatever. And I was just in the text. I was like, oh, I'm in the city. So is it okay if I pick him up? And he was like, yeah. So we ended up going from the west side to east point. And that was a good little 20, 25 minute drive. Which I hate. I hate. I hate city drivers. I hate Detroit period when it comes to driving. Because people are so rude. And I ain't gonna lie. I have my moments. I'm a speed demon, but bruh, like some of them, especially on seven mile and six mile, like not even gonna get me started. But anyways, it was a nice little ride. Got the shoes, and let me tell y'all, the packaging was a one. Like besides like the little gold twenty three on the like like wrapping paper, like the little card it comes with, the color scheme. That's why I love me, man. I love the name Indigo. I love the color. Like, that's why I love Indigo. And I'm very passionate about Indigo, Indigo Child, all that. So, I definitely, definitely have to do that. And, um, I'm actually going to make a shirt for those. Um, I do have, or I'm trying to create a merch line for my brand. And so, I'm going to try to find that. 
kind of like exact color but i want to find like some kind of blue and a light blue to just make a double tone shirt to wear those so yeah next shoe is the satin snakes which are air jordan ones as well and i think i don't oh they are done sorry guys i got these september 20th these are my babies these are my birthday babies actually i'm gonna wear these for my birthday you just don't know what for um but as you can see i double tone uh double colored my laces i didn't keep like one black one red um i wanted to do white but the laces that i had they weren't the same texture as the black one it was actually too short too so i just ended up doing red um they are released august 6th 2020 the retail price was 170 i bought them for 250 the size is a five and a half um, and my god sister got me these two, um, but they're for my birthday, so I'm not gonna wear these for like another good couple of months. And I'm still trying to find an outfit. Um, I had some options, but push kind of shove. I probably just take like a birthday. I probably do a birthday shoot with my sister, um, and take pics of these. So, but yeah, these are a fave too. And then my first, well, not even my first pair of ones. But my first pair of, I guess you could say these kind of ones, um, are the UNC to Chicago. <laughs> but yeah, the red and blue. Um, I got these August 21st. They were released February 13th, 2020, before Valentine's Day. Um, and the retail price was $170. Um, I got these in a size 5. And I bought these for $305. Oh, hell no. Scam. But I also bought these off Stadium Goods. So, you know, you got to deal with shipping, all that. And um, when it came to buying these, let me tell y'all, I at first was hunting down for the tie-dyes, okay? I was hunting down for the tie-dye ones. And I was trying to find a fit for those. So I was texting, like, some of the people that I knew of. I just knew period like my boys Lance, Darius, Dakari. Um this boy I follow on Twitter that um used to go to SU with, I guess I could say. His name is David. I actually hit him up to try to find a fit, but no one really working. So I ended up picking these. I think I saw some I saw somebody wear them. I think it was Taya. Cause she did a shoot and I saw the shoes and I was like, oh them sweet. And I was like, I was on a slide, I was trying to see if like they were still available, and they were. So I paid over a hundred dollars for some shoes, but I mean they're a good investment. Like I have a few fits I plan on wearing with these, and I plan on shooting a lot by next year, just to get pictures up. I know you know, leveling up and what I've been doing. I got I got to put my face out there. I just have to get over that bridge of being shy, and I need to be more confident in myself, especially now that I've cut my hair. So, I'm definitely going to break that barrier down. But, yeah. Um, the retail price was 70 Um, And my first pair of wands weren't these. Um, I actually have a black and white pair of wands. And some white high wands with the straps in the front. And we got those from America's Got Talent. So, I was definitely blessed. Excuse me. To get my first pair of wands through a show. When they really could have took them back and got their money back. They let us have them. So that was pretty cool. And I think that was my last pair. Oh, the Vans. Sorry. I forgot all about my Vans. Um, I don't really know how much I paid for these. I can't find the email for these. It's specifically for this video shoot concept that I have in my head. And there's this jacket that I bought from my guy SJ. Um, sorry if I don't remember your, your real name. I don't know if you go by your real name. Look, I'm just going to call you SJ. And he has a clothing brand as well. I'm going to tag his website in the description box, sorry. And um, I don't know why I came up with this concept of like fire, and like like red, like angry tones. Like that's what the song is about. That I'm trying to shoot a video for. Um, it was definitely like pissed off tone, like a pissed off vibe, like a mad vibe. So um, that's why... I, um, I matched the shoes with the jacket and, like, used it for the concept of the video. Um, 
So the jacket has like these skulls at the bottom and then flame on the arms and then it trims around the bottom of the jacket. Um, so check it out. His clothing line, if I'm correct, is Etrange Studios, not Estrange. I believe it's Etrange. 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 It has like an accent on one of the E's or the first E. And um, I don't know how long he's been doing it himself. Um, I did first come about him when i met ryan i met ryan in high school and he has his own clothing line as well tag in the description box um stay reveal and they both had this these lion heart shirts that i used to buy all the time because the people i looked up to that graduated before me you know had the shirt so i was like oh heck yeah i gotta tap in so i've been tapping in with both of them for the longest and i'm so proud of what they've been doing how they've been leveling up you know what they've been creating Shout out to y'all. So yeah. I don't remember the price. So this is probably going to be updated. But my van's not really a big deal. Um, they were just to be added to the shoe haul. You know to add how many shoes I got in total. Now that I've shown you all my shoes. Let's get into the Crocs. Let me tell y'all. I love me some Crocs. Okay. At first you know. When people were first finding out about them. You know them being like little shoes for nurses and stuff you know people went into them but then my friends were starting to buy them and i was like i might as well get my own so my first pair were blue they were a little light blue to match when i went to SU. well of course it's backwards but when i went to SU, and i got these august 11th 2018 so that was maybe i don't think i was in school yet yeah, I got these August 11, 2018. The correct term for this color is chambray or chambray, chambray blue. And the price for these was actually $37.99 at the time. And I got free shipping. So I only paid like $40 maybe per se for these. Um, so there, this is my, this is my very first pair. You don't see it, but these boys dirty. Like they've been through some stuff <laughs> for real. And then my next pair, I know what I don't have in here, the pink ones. I do have a pink, um, pink Crocs that I'll probably get out to show, but probably not. If not, I just put up the picture. Um, so I'll talk about these next. These are my most recent. Um, I bought them as soon as they came out because they were like galaxy looking and they were different. I really like them and I like the jibis that I have on them, which is a moon, a crystal, and a butterfly. Butterflies and turtles are my favorite animals. If they would have a turtle jibbit, I probably would have bought like two or three. But, you know, things happen. So, I got the correct term for these um, are classic out of this world clocks. And they sell for $44.99. And I paid at least $47, $48 for these. These are my babies for real. They're so cute. I wear these everywhere too. Um, when I wear any of these other ones. Um, but yeah, I got these, you know, because I felt like they match my brand too. So whenever I'm going out, like putting these on for show. These are the go-tos. Next ones are I'm gonna put both these both of these up at the same time, just so you can see. Um, so I got two tie-dye clogs, and I have the dark color one and the light color ones. And so, if you can see, I have a planet on here and as well as another crystal. And then my other side is a little alien. And then, like, if it gets, like, really dark, like, if I turn all the lights off, you can see the little alien glow. Man, <laughs> I've scared my mom maybe once or twice with these because she forgot, like, this one glows in the dark. And then with the rainbow, with the dark rainbow ones, I got 19 because that's how old I am. With the music note, because of course I'm a music artist. And then I got the infinite symbol, or infinity symbol, infinite, whatever. And then I got my zodiac sign, which is the best zodiac sign of them all. A Sagittarius, period. <laughs> no, let me stop playing. But anyways, yeah. And then I bought these two with the pink Crocs, which is the correct term of ballerina pink. And the correct term for these were the classic tie-dye clogs. And for all three of those, 
I paid $143, um, but they were $44.99 a piece, so $45 a piece. And I bought those May 7th, 2020. I don't remember when I bought the classic Out of This World clogs, so I forgot to mention that. But um, it was pretty recent. I want to say I got them within at least maybe a month, month span. I probably got them by the end of August because I think they dropped by the end of August. So there's those in the pink ones. I'm probably going to bring out the pinks anyway. But, you know, to talk about these, these are the classic line clogs. Um... My term of them is blue fluffy, <laughs> blue fluffy Crocs, 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 Crocs. I just hear the difference. Whatever it is, I'm gonna just say Crocs, Crocs. I need to stop doing that. Anyways, um, but yeah, these were forty five dollars, and I got them for forty dollars as a student discount. And then on the inside, they're really fluffy. I don't know if you can tell. Oh no, you can't yet. So, the little fluffy padding in the inside. They are super soft. Like, super soft. And, um, I don't remember when I got these. But I did get these, like, two weeks ago. No more than two weeks ago. Maybe two and a half. But, um, the reason I got these is because I saw them on my friend Brianna's snap. The reason I got these were because they were on Brianna's snap. And she had the white and gray version, like the white shoe and then gray padding. And I was like, girl, where you get them from? I couldn't find them on a cross page that I'd be like, I specifically like wanted blue. So she was like, go on shoe carnival. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like they had colors like even Crocs didn't have, which is crazy. So um, I ended up getting these. And they're a good investment. Like to have Fred, I mean, with it getting colder in Michigan, you know. But also because I'm since me being a diabetic, like I like wearing comfortable stuff, like fluffy stuff. Like that's why I like wearing like fluffy, like the little fluffy socks that everybody gets. I mean, I got these aloe socks on right now as we speak. Um, that are like really fluffy, and then you know they just keep the circulation of blood flowing through my feet. Since of course as a diabetic, you know it takes a lot longer for that to happen within your foot. But anyways, yeah. So these are it. And I think I got out all my shoes, but I'm going I'm to show the pink ones, so don't go nowhere. So, for real, for real, last but not least, um, I have these. Let me see if I can get the focus, because I didn't want to, like, change my lighting. But they do say jig on this, and then there is a yin-yang symbol. I think this is the moon symbol for something. I think that's what it said on the uh, on the website. But um, for those who don't know, my name, my nickname is Jiggy Jiggy Smalls because my last name is Smalls. And if you don't know the rapper Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G., um, that was my thing. That was also my thing for my high school pictures. It was the Notorious J.I.G. So Jiggy Smalls, that's why I had Jig on there. And so I wear these a lot too. Um, they match one of my You Matter hoodies, so whenever I throw that on, I throw these on. But of course, if I wear all black, any of these cars can get it, you feel me? <laughs> so, yeah, these are all my shoes. I don't really have a favorite. I don't discriminate, but you know, I wear more shoes than others simply because of fits. But I mean, this is what, this, this is what I was meant to do, be a sneakerhead, you feel me? I may not have, you know, all the shoes that I want, but these are my babies. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. And I wouldn't trade them for the world. I don't know where I was trying to go, where I was trying to go with this, but. I made your shoes. But oh wait, I gotta. <laughs> so yeah, these are all my gym shoes. See if I can showcase. So yeah, and then I'm a Crocs. So, all right, y'all. I have a lot of packing back to do, but <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video for real. A little chat, you know, with live, the little stories I had. You know, you feel me? Don't forget to like.
comment, subscribe, and don't forget to send me your folks, you feel me? Tell them to come subscribe and join the party too. So, it's your girl in the go. In the go. It don't get no better than me Now you gotta sit on the sideline and see that You just made a huge mistake I'm the B-T-Y-N-H-H It don't get no better than me Now you gotta sit on the sideline and see that You just made a huge mistake I'm the B-T-Y-N-H-H I'm the B-T-Y-N-H It don't get no better than me I'm the B-T-Y-N-H-H